What's good, you two? Welcome to the Don't Hurt Yourself Podcast. This is your boy, JR. Lock and load with me one time. Hey, deadline came yesterday for the Dallas Cowboys and Dak Prescott to get a deal done. Get them locked in long term. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Very unfortunate if you're a Dallas Cowboy fan like myself. I was hoping they got the deal done. Locked them in. And I, right now, I don't know what's going on. Everything seems like it's up in the air with Dak's future, with the team. What is the plan? What is the plan with the Dallas Cowboys with Dak? Because everybody else got paid. And Dak should have been paid two years ago. But see, they waited and they waited. Dak played great in the beginning of last year. Things changed when they were negotiating. Now he wants more money. Understandable. Some people say, well, he only went 8-8 eight and eight last year, but he still had his best year. Almost 5,000 yards passing. Throwing the ball over the field. Some will say, well, it was just junk yards. We were down a lot. doesn't really matter in my book. Dak has gotten a lot better, and he should be the leader of this team for the next decade. My fear is they're not going to do it, and Dak's going to have a hell of a year this year again. And then then what? What if Dak goes into the playoffs and balls out and gets to the championship game and gets to the Super Bowl, you know, and then he wants $40 million a year? Well, y'all going to try and franchise tag, tag him again. And he's been a great soldier for the team. Says all the right things. And he says, you know what? I'm not signing a damn thing. And then what happens? Then we're going to trade him? Because he's going to want more money. Now, he's, I don't think he wants Pat Mahomes' money as they're talking about. But he does want a, a raise. Now, I understand that he's getting $31 million this year. Get $29 million more than he got uh, last year. He's been underpaid all this time. It's time to, time to pay up, Jerry. Steven, give him the money. Because we're going to fuck around and end up in a bad place. We don't want to go back to the Quincy Carter days, the Chad Hutchinson days, uh, uh, Henson days. Uh, remember, we had Ryan Leaf at one time starting. We don't want to have a quarterback roller coaster. Because it was a quarterback roller coaster until Romo came in. And a lot of Cowboy fans love to do this one thing. He like because it's a we all love Romo, but we make Romo into something like he's a god. Like as great as he was for us, he didn't win shit either. Dak Prescott has done a lot in four years: won two divisions, won Rookie of the Year, uh, one crazy kick, <laughs> one crazy ass kick his rookie year by the Green Bay Packers. Who knows what happens in overtime? We're in the championship game. He led us to a 13-3 record. When Zeke was out, he led us to 9-7, missed the playoffs. So, yes, last year was a rough year uh, because we should have won some games that we should have never lost. Jets game, <laughs> Saints game, the Eagle game. I can go on. And I know some of y'all will see that's the knock right there. And some Cowboy fans I see and all over the blogs, all over different Twitter, and all, Instagram, Facebook. And it's like, well, he's just not good enough. I want somebody else. Who? Who do you want? Who do you want? Because I'm telling you right now, it ain't going to get no better than this. Lock in Dak and let's move on. Now, Jane Slater said yesterday that the Cowboys made an offer in a realm of $33, $35 million a year, probably over five years. Now, for the last year, they were saying, Dak wants a four-year deal so he can go back into free agency while he's still young and cash in again. Understandable. Uh, Cowboys want to move on to a five-year deal, extend it out, and want to renegotiate in the third year. No, Dak's like, I want my money now. And they and uh, James Slater says $110 million guaranteed. And a little bit more than uh, with Carson Wentz and a little bit more around with Jared Goff. But if you're at Dak, why am I going to sign a long-term deal at a price when everybody else is going to go past me? Okay, Deshaun Watson is going to get paid. And more. And then you see Pat Mahomes' deal. Even though it's a 10-year deal, he has 12 years on the contract. It really was a discount. Because he's only getting $63 million in the first, next two years. If Dak doesn't sign a long-term deal, if he, he can take the... He takes this franchise tag this year. 
Next year it goes up to 37 million, so that's almost 70 million over two. Third year, if they transition tag on, which I highly doubt, it goes up to almost 50 million dollars. So that's over 120 million dollars in three years. So he's really betting on himself, which I can't blame, but we'll see. He's been durable all this time. It's going to be interesting what the Cowboys do. Because if they want to go into another direction, let it be known. Let it be known. Because we have too much damn talent to mess this up. Like I said earlier, everybody else got paid. Jalen Smith got his contract. Zeke held out last year, got his $90 million with $50 million guaranteed. Demarcus Lawrence, who had a down year last year, got paid. Omari Cooper got paid with a $100 million deal. $60 million guaranteed. Offensive line set. Now, we still got Tyron Smith getting a little older. be interesting what we do with him later on. But the, the team is set. Defensively, what people don't talk about, the defense went down from a year before last year. And they made some errors. And they have to be better this year. But to not sign Dak long term, it's just odd. Because they did not do it with Tony. Like I said, Tony did not win anything. As He didn't win anything. And how many damn times did Tony break our hearts? How many interceptions did Tony make to hurt our hearts? Time and time and time and time again. So we got to stop comparing Romo with Dak. Because if you don't remember, Dak Prescott held off Tony Romo and retired Tony Romo. Dak Prescott kept that job so much on the roll when, when in the preseason of 2016 when he got hit by Seattle and got hurt again. Dak took that job and never looked back. Don't forget about that. But he got paid twice. Romo got paid twice. I think he got like a $36 million deal the first time and then he re-upped for like $97 million, and then when he retired, we were still paying him. Romo's getting... <laughs> Romo's getting paid more money now broadcasting than Dak Prescott's getting paid right now. He has a better long-term deal than Dak. Now, I know some of y'all will say, well, Dak has uh, endorsements he can get on the side. And he probably makes a lot of money being a Cowboys quarterback. I don't live in Dallas. I have family in Dallas. I'm sure he's on TV all the damn time. I get it. I get it. But compared to other quarterbacks, especially in our division, he's the cream of the crop. He's better than Carson Wentz. He's better than uh, Haskins with the Redskins. He's better than the old boy with the Giants. So, pay the man. The Cowboys should win this division this year with the talent we have, even though the Eagles have gotten better. I just don't get it. It doesn't make no sense. Jared Goff got paid and went, went to shit. Wentz can't stay on the field. Dak's been durable. It's not put up or shut up. Because like, what's going to happen? Okay, let's, let's hypothetically say Cowboys win the Super Bowl. Okay? We've been saying that for years, Cowboy fans. I know. Cowboys Nation, what's up? We say it every year because the talent is there. But let's say he wins. What if he wins it? And then we're going to do trade him at the draft? We're going to trade him? For who? For who? I saw people say, well, let's go get Cam Newton. Yeah, it sounds good. We'll see how he do with the Patriots. It sounds really good. But we already have Dak. He's younger, more durable, uh, always locked in, says the right things. He's a leader. Like, why would we do that? Yeah, we got Andy Dalton as his backup. Now, so, once again, crazy Cowboy fans, some will say, get rid of Dak and just put Andy in. For what? What the hell has Andy Dalton won the last four years with the Bengals? They dropped his ass like a bad habit. You see what he did last year with the Bengals? Nothing. Yes, he had no talent with the Bengals. Well, he has Joe Mixon. He had a few receivers. But I just, I, it just bothers me so much that they just won't lock him in. Because if you look at Kirk Cousins, yeah, he finessed the shit out the system. Kirk Cousins finessed it. I, my, I just don't want something bad to happen to Dak. This year, knock on wood, no, that does not happen. And then they just drop him like a bad habit. And be like, thank you for your services, Dak. 
but we will not be resigning you. And that will be just so jacked up. That's how the NFL works. Not for long. Not for long. And you saw what Dak's brother said. He said, this is the reason why I wasn't a Cowboy fan in the first place when I was growing up. You know, I really might not even watch him this year. I know that's his family member. I know he probably feels bad. But according to Jane Slater with NFL Network, they tried. Didn't work. Dak Prescott said that he's going to be a trooper. Uh, he, he's still grateful to be a Dallas Cowboy. And he's going to try to go out there and go win. But he's gonna be, we'll see. But if we look at this roster, it's win now. Roster's too damn good not to lo- to keep losing these, these damn games. With the talent we have, we got Amari at receiver. We got Michael Gallup on the other side. Now with the addition of C.D. Lamb. Blake Jarwin on the come up. Another fucked up thing we did last year was keeping Blake Jarwin off the field, keeping Jason Whitney all the damn time. The old man. We, hey, we love Cap. We love Cap and Whitney, but Blake Jarwin should have been starting the whole damn season. So hopefully he has a breakout year this year. Hopefully he does. But it's insane to me. Insane to me. Because you see, uh, Ryan Tannehill, he got paid. He got paid over Dak. Come on, man. Shit got to change. Uh, Jerry Jones, get it together, brother. Stephen Jones, get it together. I know we don't want to go into cap hell. And that's the fear. We don't want to go to a cap problem and overpay Dak. I know the Cowboys want to pay him at a right price point. So do I as a fan. Because we don't want to get to a situation where somebody got to go. Because these staying, you know, I know running backs have a uh, don't have a uh, long shelf life, but it looked like Zeke gonna be around for a long time, toting that rock. Demarcus Lawrence, we don't know. Yeah, Demarcus Lawrence has a bad year next year. His ass might be gone. But I hope, I hope that Dak Prescott stays around for a very long time. Uh, right now, I'm th- thinking it's like 70, 30 that he he will be signed by next year. Uh, I don't think he's going anywhere, but I got that still still got that 30 percent chance that the Cowboys let him go. But I think hopefully next year they do not have to do this all over again. Because I don't want to go through another, a third year of as a Cowboy fan wondering, what are they going to do now? We don't want to get to April, May, June. You know what I mean? And we don't know. Because we know how we always do. Let's say we do go 8-8 eight and eight again. We don't re-sign Dak. We're the 17th pick in the draft next year. Who the hell are we going to get in college? They may not be no college football year this year. No college, no football. No college football at all. So who the hell are we going to get? Who are we going to get? We ain't got nobody down the pike, and it sure ain't going to be no Andy Dalton. Unless somebody gets cut in free agency. Unless Cam Newton next year, and they, well, they don't cut Dak and, and go get Cam if he has a bad year in New England. Come on. Do the right thing. Go sign Dak, and let's move on for the next 10 years. I hope we get a couple of chips. But hey, y'all let me know down in the com- in the comment section what you guys think about the Dallas Cowboys and this whole Dak Prescott situation. Is um, if you're a Cowboy fan, let me know what you want. What do you want the Cowboys to do? You want them to keep Dak or let him go? You guys let me know. And once again, this has been the Don't Hurt Yourself podcast. Like, comment, subscribe. Many more videos to come. I'll let y'all later. Peace.